What's up guys, I just wanted to make a quick video on um, looking at the reliability of your Windows system and checking application or uh, OS or update type failures or crashes and stuff like that. So I've made a video in the past that uh, a lot of people I guess found beneficial and was how to how to check your Windows crash dump files, like that's in the Windows folder typically, see Windows memory.dump I think or something like that. And um, you could review that and you can look at like the dump um, uh, specifics and you can find whether it was a driver or hardware or something that maybe could help you figure out why your computer keeps crashing. Well, um, we've got another similar tool in Windows 10 and 11 called the reliability, I think it started in 10, I'm pretty sure, because it's in the control panel, but it's called the reliability history tool or monitor. So if you go, if you click start and then you say reliability like that, and you get view reliability history like this. And so um, you can also get to it from the control panel. So if instead of that, I say control panel and I go to control here and then um, you go to security and maintenance and then in security maintenance under maintenance, you have view reliability history. It's the same thing. So you're gonna get this reliability monitor um, and it's gonna show you the last 30 days, I believe of your system stability and, um, and tracks a couple different areas where uh, you might want to troubleshoot. All right, primarily, like for, for me, I mean, like when Windows updates fails, that's fine. You should probably check out why. But it's really, for me, it was more about like if you had a catastrophic failure, your system just totally locked up. And why did it lock up was what you're trying to figure out, right? Especially if it happens all the time because that would be really annoying if your computer is always locking up. It's become kind of useless. And so... Um, so you've got this re reliability chart here and you can see like the dates and you can see the failures. So warnings, information, warnings, miscellaneous, Windows fa failures and application failures. That's each of these columns. And so you can see I've got like a Windows failure, Windows failure and a Windows failure here. So if you click on these columns, then it'll show you critical events, some warnings, informational events like this. And um, and you can use this info to, to hopefully troubleshoot what had happened. So you've got like a hardware error. Um, and then in this space, I do have also another hardware error. And so you, you can get some decent info. So let's kind of poke around on, on the, some of these days since I actually had some crashes here back on uh, whatever day this was, 2.10, February 10th. So 10 days ago, um, I had a hardware error. So if I double click this, um, it gives me a live kernel event, 141. So if you Google what that means, um, I'm, I think what that is is it say like your computer becomes unresponsive. So it's not like a blue screen of death where it shows that crash kernel panic crash screen and then locks up or reboots. This one, on the other hand, might it might just freeze or your screen goes black and it's uncontrollable or something you have to power it off kind of a thing. So um, so it says it says a image. And so this is like what I would do to troubleshoot this particular one. You'd say image here and you copy this. And then um, let me get a let me get a window here, a Google window. Sorry, I'm a little slow I suppose so here in Google search now I could say um, what is that right and so this person this person's saying they're BSOD on this particular driver and so what's what is the driver NVLDDMKM it looks like it's part of NVIDIA so so this particular live kernel event 141 is related to my video card and so what I would do in this scenario if I had this happen a lot is I would go upgrade my uh, video card drivers. Um, it could be also other issues like maybe your video card keeps overheating or um, in this case this is a laptop, it's a gaming laptop, so maybe it just got too hot. That's also a possibility I suppose. Maybe the airflow is restricted, like it's on your lap or it's on a blanket or um, you kind of want to make sure the airflow is real good, especially with the gaming laptops you need that airflow on those because they get very hot. Um, maybe there's a lot of dust in there or maybe you just have bad hardware or maybe the driver needs it's old and it just needs to be updated and it keeps just crashing. But um, but this is very similar to like the Windows dump check. Like you're gonna, you can, you can literally just pull pieces out of the information that you get for these events and go Google this and then find out what that particular system file is related to. So if I hit back, um, we were looking at this one here. Um, there's really only one related and it just tells me Windows wasn't shut down properly, stop responded and was closed, phone link for whatever, how, whatever that, it might've just been tied to this particular crash, but um, you can look at some of these other ones too, and then they give you a bug check, and then they do say that you've got a dump. So you could run through the steps in my other video on how to look at this memory dump, and it might be, I haven't tested this one particularly, but it might literally be the same exact message or similar message to what you see here. 
Um, but obviously this is a lot faster because like doing the memory dump check is uh, you're going to install the debug tools and then um, open up the memory dump file and investigate what happens. So this is just built into Windows. So if we look at another day, like we've got this one, it gives me a whole bunch of hardware errors. Windows was shut down unexpectedly. Uh, looks like it's potentially another NVIDIA. And this was uh, apparently a blue screen. So I must have blue screened on whatever this is. So if we pull that particular search back up, and I think it's the same file, right? So it's, it's, it's related to NVIDIA. So I was having some kind of problem with my NVIDIA card causing, causing crashes. So I'm pretty sure that's what it's related to. It's like, it's an NVIDIA card crash of some type like that. And so, um, so we just need to, you know, go in and investigate what that could be. If it's hardware, if it's driver, um, if we look at each of these, um, we have DX, DXG kernel, create it, create black screen live dump. So if we go in and Google this particular thing, maybe this is related to DirectX or something. That'd be my guess based off of the file name. Yeah. So, so again, that relates right back to the video card, right? Cause DirectX is a graphic interface thing. So so live kernel event, we got a DirectX particular error. Um, if we open another one, he's back to the NVIDIA one again. So I must have had some issue with my video card here. Another DirectX kernel problem. Um, same with that one. And again, it looks like I'm probably looking at these really fast. I'm just kind of looking for something that looks like it's a file name, like a system or a DLL or something like that. You could also search for this if you wanted to. Um, it may not relate to exactly what you want, but because this is Intel, so maybe, and I'm not entirely sure what that means, but you can you can pick this apart and Google pieces of these two. Google's your friend when it comes to troubleshooting errors like this. And so you would Google that and see if you can find something. Um, looks like they're all similar. And here actually we have audio bus sys. So that's an interesting one because that's not gonna be necessarily related to your video card. So if you search for this, it's probably like, yeah, Intel Smart Sound Technology Bus appears to be a component of the Realtek audio driver. So I had an issue with the with the audio as well. So that's a weird one, right? So what do you do in that scenario? Well, this was a rare scenario, so I'm not sure there's much you'd want to do here. If it happens all the time, that's kind of bizarre because you've got audio crashing and you've got your video card crashing. In this case, they're two different things. One's Intel, one's NVIDIA. So... Um, I don't remember what this blue screen problem was. I think it was probably something related to like me moving the laptop between locations. It was on battery and maybe it crashed because of something goofy like that. Like I don't remember playing a game or something where it crashed. So maybe this is not the best example, but, um, but it was the crash data that I had because it's not like my system necessarily crashes all that much. So anyhow, I just want to show you guys the reliability monitor that's built into Windows 10. You don't have to do dump checks. You can still kind of get data for um, whatever might be the problem. Um, maybe... You can also correlate this with like maybe um, Windows updates. And so you can look at your Windows update history at the same time. So maybe one of your Windows updates is also a cause for why it's crashing. Like if the timing for the Windows update failed was the same time as your computer crashing, maybe the Windows update's giving you issues as well. So kind of correlate some of these events together and try to figure out why your system is having issues. So I hope this video was useful for you guys. Appreciate it. I'll talk to you on the next one.